policies that person supports, what you would do, what you would vote for if you were elected. Let me just do a speed round with you. Okay. I can. Do you support the Green New Deal? No. Do you support Medicare for All? No. Do you support D.C. statehood? Yes. Do you support Puerto Rican statehood? Yes. Do you support defunding the police? No. Do you support abolishing ICE? No. Do you support expanding the Supreme Court? No. Do you support ending the filibuster? Maybe. Okay. Tell me more. It's not just a question of yes or no filibuster. What I will consider is the implications in the long run when the shoe is on the other foot. He said no to the Green New Deal. He said no to Medicare for all. So then why would we even want John Ossoff in there? What the hell? Okay, Ossoffer. Okay, Ossoffer. Whatever. Whatever you say, Ossoffer. Let's listen to this barn burner speech. Fiorella. Oh, Fiorella, speak to me. We are living in a fascism that is cryptic. People thought that voting Trump out was enough. You can't vote your way out of it. You can't rebrand socialism as an imperialist pro-regime change brand like AOC has managed to do. We can't allow that to happen because corruption is a part of the system. It's how the establishment continues. She party people back into a party that has shown them time and time again that they don't care. So why is this relevant to Julian Assange? Well, because the progressive movement has largely ignored him. We won't have the ability to inform others on what's actually happening. We don't have the ability to provide real journalism to counter the lies of the establishment corporate media. And that is important. That's why we're out here fighting for those people who mock this as a right-wing talking point, who mock the deep state, who pretend that the deep state isn't real and hasn't been real for decades. They literally say, oh, you're a right-wing, uh, you know, you're a right-wing, uh, Nazi for talking about the deep state. A lot of the left has fallen into that trap. And I have to talk about that because as a leftist, we need to be more, more loud about Julian Assange. The fact that more Republicans and Libertarians in our Congress are fighting for free speech and standing up against censorship, like, is a shame. We also need to go beyond classifying people uh, as a, a right winger for simply having a different point of view. This is an issue that is beyond party life. Well said. Let's see if we can uh, stand Donald Trump right after that. I won this election by hundreds of thousands of votes. There's no way I lost Georgia. There's no way. We won by hundreds of thousands. I believe of votes. you. I believe you. I'm just going by s small numbers. When you add them up, they're many times the 11,000. Right. But, but I won that small, by hundreds big. of thousands of votes. Now, do you think it's possible that they uh, shredded ballots in uh, Fulton County? Cause not just possible. Not I mean, and I also that Dominion you took out some. Uh, that Dominion is moving really really fast to get rid Dr. of their video? Uh, machinery. We can make it happen for you. Is that what you're saying? Or you just give me a little wink and a nod. Is that no? Dominion is not um, moved any machinery out of Fulton County. We're having well, but no, but, but if they move, Tuesday. have they? Have they moved the inner parts of the machines and replaced them with other parts? No. You sure, Brian? I'm sure. I'm All sure. I want to do is this. I just want to find sure? uh, 11,780 votes, which is one more than we have. So that is impeachable, and I think it is, he, they are pushing for up, right up against treason. They're pushing right up against it. I mean, I don't see how else you could see it. Another remarkable thing about that tape was that he said that we're looking for 11,000 votes because, you know, whatever the specific number was, because it's one more than how many votes we got. So that's him admitting that they don't have the votes. And he's looking. We're looking. There's 12,000 votes around here somewhere. <laughs> they could have won it through the Electoral College. All the rest of this bullshit is just, you know, 
a bunch of bullshit, a bunch of bullshit. So yeah, that was Fiorella's uh, Barn Burner. She's part of the convo. Couch Fiorella's DC forced the vote Barn Burner. She made a lot of good points. She was talking about how libertarians and republicans are for Julian Assange of free speech more than Democrats and lefties are when the leftists should be. And that's absolutely true. I don't even see, I don't even know why the right would even think this would be their fucking issue. Edward Snowden, Julian Assange. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah we should be defending uh, Edward Snowden and Julian Assange. Anti-war, free speech, free press. It's got everything, right? It's got it all. So good job, Fiorella. Fiorella something, something. I'm sorry. That's Fiorella. Uh, no, no, no. You made me feel bad, America. <laughs> so, oh my God. I didn't even put her name on the list. Don't tell me that. Fiorella. Oh, here it is. Right. What? Isabel! <laughs> All right, David Soretto, what do you say? Your show that you're right. That the way to frame this is, is that it is Nancy Pelosi's choice. I literally... Go back and play the tape. You can rerun the fucking tape right now. <laughs> okay. That's literally what I said. Right, that's how we brought you back on, David. That's why we brought you back on, so you could clear this up. And now you've cleared it up. You are for, for risking Nancy Pelosi's speakership. You are. Democrats can run another candidate for speaker. They can do that right. AOC can run for speaker. One of the squad members can run for speaker. Wow. He should have told Jink Udar. He should have told Jink Udar that when they did that interview. So I guess I will say nothing. <laughs> Free of funds. Fraud squad. <laughs> 